Hey guys! Today I'm going to be doing the tag entitled My Makeup Story and I'm really really excited because I am a beauty guru on here and I'm a makeup artist in real life so I I mean I like talking about like how I got into makeup because people ask me that all the time and it's I don't know it's, it's a fun story for me to tell so I guess this is where you guys are going to hear that so I have a list of questions here which is why I keep looking over here it's on my laptop but um, the first question is, how old were you when you started wearing makeup? I, let's see, when I was growing up, I lived in India, and then I moved here when I was 10, and I've always really enjoyed makeup, but I was a complete tomboy, which is a funny thing, but the one girl thing that I wanted to do was wear makeup, and uh, I went to a private school where we were not allowed to wear makeup of any kind, or do your nails, or anything of that kind, so I wasn't as exposed to it as most people would be, you know, living in a different country where you're able to wear whatever you want, do whatever you want. But, at the same time, like, I had cousins and stuff who would show me their makeup and I would love to try it out, but my dad was kind of on the stricter side and didn't really like me wearing makeup, so I wasn't really allowed to really do that. But, when we moved here, it was a complete culture shock for me to go to school and see that girls in, like, fifth grade were wearing makeup. So, I guess fifth grade is when I really started to wear it, but at that time all I really wore was, like, eyeliner and lip gloss. I really didn't know much, and the trend then was, like, different colored eyeliner. Like, people would, like draw on eyeliner with like gel pens and things like that. I don't know if you guys know what gel pens are, but they're like these funky colored, um, uh, what's it called? Pens. So, I guess that's when I like got into it, but you guys will hear more about this in a second. How did you get into makeup? My mom has always told me that I've always had a thing for makeup. When I was five years old, she was coming to, um, Florida and Vegas and things like that for a vacation with my sister, because my sister's older than me. And um, she asked me like what I wanted, you know, from the United States, and I said just lots and lots of makeup. So um, when she came here, she actually got me my first big Estee Lauder makeup palette when I was five years old. Like it has like eyeshadows, it has blushes. I think I still have it somewhere, but I don't know where. It's kind of old, so I obviously don't use it. But I think I have it for like sentimental reasons. But she says that it's always, always been in my blood. I've always really loved it. So uh, what are some of your favorite makeup brands? Um, MAC, of course. I love Makeup Forever. Let's see. Urban Decay. I love their eyeshadows, though they're a lot harder to use than most eyeshadows. Um, I think those are the three. MAC, Makeup Forever, and Urban Decay are the three um, brands that I actually really believe in. Then it says, what does makeup mean to you? Let's see. When I started wearing makeup, I did it more as something because everybody else was doing it. I didn't start wearing it like when I came here because there was a specific reason. I just saw that girls were doing it and since I was never allowed to, I wanted to try it out, you know? And, but, you know, growing older, when I actually really started makeup was, um, started wearing makeup was when I did a beauty pageant when I was, um, it was the summer of 8th and ninth grade. So I was going over to ninth grade into this beauty pageant and, um, just learning everything through a beauty pageant. We were taught about, like, grooming, how to do your makeup, things like that. And, that's when I really got into it, and I really learned how to groom and how to, you know, carry myself. And once I saw myself, you know, in all my, in all of my pictures, wearing makeup and having my hair done, so I saw what a huge difference it made for me. I was really confident on stage. I was really happy, and I just felt like a completely new person. I've always been a very shy person. Even today, you know, I most people tell me that I'm not shy, but I feel like I am, and. That I just remember, like, the day before the pageant, I was having a heart attack. I did not know what I was going to do, why I got into doing this, like, why was I going to do a beauty pageant. I have, like, no self-confidence. I didn't want to be on stage. I didn't think I was pretty. Like, I don't want to do any of that. And then, as soon as I got my makeup and hair done and I went on stage, I was so happy. And everybody told me, like, I was one of the most confident girls doing it because, to me, I looked in the mirror and I saw somebody completely different and it just gave me a huge confidence boost. And I'm not saying that you should wear makeup to gain confidence. It shouldn't be like that because makeup is not a mask. It should be used to to better, you know, whatever you already have, to accentuate your features, not for you to hide behind them. But for me, it was just about confidence. I just changed as a person. But more than that, I really enjoyed doing makeup. Like, I would look forward to going to sleep and waking up because then I knew I could do my makeup. So I guess that's when I really, really, really started to wear makeup. Like, after the pageant was done and ninth grade began, Every morning I would wake up like 30, 45 minutes early just so I could get myself ready and I really looked forward to that. So, you know, it really became a true passion for me, you know, at a very young age. <sighs> okay, if you
if you could only wear four products in your face, what would they be? It would be eyeliner, mascara, lip hydrant, and foundation. The reason for that is because I have always worn eyeliner. You know, I mentioned to you guys that, that was probably one of my first makeup products that I ever used. So I'm used to seeing myself with eyeliner, and if I don't wear it, I don't feel as alive. I don't know. It makes my eyes just look, I don't know, small and not as pretty. I don't know. And mascara, I actually didn't wear it for a long time. I actually got into mascara very recently, which is funny. I actually got into it probably my sophomore year of college. Before that, I would do eyeshadow, whatever, and I never wore mascara. But I really saw what a difference it made for my eyes, and it just really opens them up, which is why I love mascara. And foundation for me, I've never really had terrible skin, so I'm not always in need of concealer. So if I put on foundation, I'm good to go. I don't need to layer on concealer on top. And... Um, I can also put on foundation under my eyes to work as concealer. And then lip hydrant because lipstick sometimes really makes my lips dry and it doesn't feel good to wear lipstick for me if my lips feel chapped and dry and annoying. So if I have a lip hydrant, I'm good to go. What is your favorite thing about makeup? I think my favorite thing about makeup is experimentation and the fact that there are no rules. You know, there's nobody who like, says this is the way you have to do it. Um, you know, in every other subject, I guess, science, you know, mathematics, whatever, there are formulas to come up with a correct answer, and there's only one correct answer. For makeup, there is, there's not a correct answer. There's, you can do whatever you want, and that's what I really enjoy about it, because I've never been a by-the-book person. I've always been somebody who likes to experiment, somebody who wants to do different things without doing it the right way, necessarily. So, makeup gave me that outlet to be able to do what I want and not have to worry about getting the right answer, because... You know, it's about what I like, not about what is, it's not about like what everybody else deems is the right way to do things. The reason I say that is because, you know, blush can be worn as eyeshadow, mascara can be worn as eyeliner, you can wear lip liner on your eyes, like there's no real formula for makeup, so you can do what you want and be happy about it, and I really, really love that. There's nothing better than going out there and knowing that no matter what you do, there's really no way you can mess up or do something wrong. Then it says, what do you think about drugstore makeup versus high-end makeup? I think that they're both really good. I've never had anything against drugstore makeup. The only thing is that being a makeup artist, you don't get to use as much drugstore makeup because no one's going to hire you and pay you if you're going to be using things like L'Oreal and Revlon. And that's not to say those products aren't good. But for a normal consumer who's paying you, they want you to use products on them that they necessarily don't have the money to buy or wouldn't buy because they're not that into it. So they're paying you to give them something, to give them a luxury, to, to work with them and give them a look that they don't know how to create a look with products they don't have and they never will have. So because of that, I've never really been as exposed to makeup. Even when I was younger, um, my my parents, obviously at this point, they were older. You know, they were like in their 30s. And so being of that age, you don't use cheap products either. Most people I've noticed as they age tend to go for more expensive makeup versus cheaper makeup just because they're more concerned about good skin, things like that. So um, even when my mom, you know, taught me a little bit a little bit about makeup, if I ever used whatever she had, it was always the better brands like Bobbi Brown, Chanel, you know, Estee Lauder, things like that. So I haven't really been as exposed to drugstore makeup, but I do believe drugstore eyeliner and mascara is really superior to um, all these fancy schmancy products um, out there like Makeup Forever and MAC and stuff who sell the same things you can get at a drugstore price, like much, much more expensive, so I don't think that's really worth it. Um, question number eight is, one: what is one type of advice you can give to a beginner? I think it's just that you need to be comfortable with, with what you're wearing. So you can wear as much makeup, as little makeup, whatever it is that you want, but as long as you feel comfortable, that's all that really matters. And the reason I say that is because since I'm a makeup artist, I'm more experimental. I'll wear things that most people think I look crazy wearing. But to me, it's normal and it's fine. I don't really care. Like, my eyes today, like, my sister would probably look at me and say, oh my god, where are you going tonight, you know? But it's daytime and I'm sitting at home and, you know, going to maybe run a few errands. But to me, this is normal and I have no problem with it. So if you're comfortable with what you create and what you think is wearable, then go for it. Like, the most beautiful thing is to be confident. So if you, you know, love to wear makeup to be more confident and you love to do crazy things with yourself, that's fine. No one is going to really care, no one's going to say anything mean to you, and it's about what you want. Don't be so concerned about what other people want, or what they think is right. Um, what is one makeup trend you never understood? 
Oh yeah, okay. So I've seen a lot of people like overdo their bronzer, not to become orange, but to make themselves so dark that it doesn't match the rest of their body. And they think it looks pretty, but I don't think overusing bronzer is pretty. It just looks unnatural. It's not even about the color not looking right, looking too orange, looking too yellow. It's just about not looking right for your skin color and making you look ridiculous and that you're trying way too hard to look like somebody you're not. And the last question is, what do I think about the beauty community on YouTube? I think it is such an awesome way to teach people what you know, to exchange tips and tricks, and to just learn more about whatever it is that you're interested about. As I mentioned, there are no rules in makeup, so everybody does things differently. So why not learn you know, things through other people, and why not teach people what you know? And I think that's so much fun because... It's not only enjoyable when you get like fun comments back or more ideas, more knowledge, things like that, but you're bettering yourself, especially if you're a makeup artist and you want to learn more. You know, I always view other gurus' work and um, visit like their websites, their their videos, you know, see what they're teaching because a lot of them they're things that I like have never heard of that I don't know and I'm always learning something new. So it's a great, great way to learn something new while having fun and even making a few friends because I've met a lot of people through my YouTube page. I'm going to tag all of you guys to do the same thing. Whether you're a beauty guru or not, I want to know about, you know, the same 10 questions. It doesn't have to be because you're a makeup artist or anything of that kind either.